All right, next we're finding the, X, the intercepts, x and y intercepts of this absolute value function. So let's start by finding the y intercept. Remember to find the y intercept, x comma y. We're gonna plug in zero for the x in this function. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm changing that f of x to be y, but they mean the same thing. y equals, I'm gonna plug in zero for the x, minus three, minus six. We simplify. Zero minus three is just negative three. So I have absolute value of negative three, which is positive three minus six. Y equals negative three. So when I input zero, my output was negative three. Okay, similarly for the x-intercept, we're going to plug in a zero for the y. And then we actually have to solve for the x. So I have zero equals absolute value of x minus three minus six. This is what we just practiced, solving absolute value equations. So we add six to both sides. Six equals absolute value of x minus three. Remember in absolute value equations, you have to split it. So we have x minus three equals negative six and x minus three equals positive six. So we add three to both sides. x equals negative three, same here x equals nine. So one of our x-intercepts is negative three comma zero. The other x-intercept is nine comma zero. Remember an absolute value function looks like this. So that means it's crossing the x-axis twice. So we need to plug in or write out our intercepts. We have one, that's our y-intercept x-intercept is negative three comma zero. The other x-intercept is nine comma zero. Here we go. All right. 